Back in May, Kaylee Schmidt and I showed you the different aspects of the Sanford Underground Research Facility. One of those areas was the water treatment plant where water leaving has to go through a multi-step cleaning process. In an update to our Sanford Science Series, we take an exclusive look at how staff continually check on the water being pumped from underground into local water sources. Every year on the banks of Whitewood Creek, crews from Colorado travel to LEAD and test the water discharge from the Sanford Underground Lab. To ensure that the stream is of good health. The lab has a permit to do this, monitoring things like algae. We scrape the algae that's, great, uh, that's growing on the rocks and put that in a vial and take it back to the lab and identify it. Bugs. Which can be a good indicator of pollution. We shuffle our feet around, disturb the bugs, get them up into the water and catch them with a the net. And the fish. Can they do that by electroshocking? The fish probably don't think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but they generally come back pretty quickly. After a minute or so, they're, they're swimming around again. They probably have a good headache, but they're okay. The consultants start upstream to get a baseline. And then we look at what's downstream, compare the two, and uh, make sure that they're um, comparable and uh, the lab isn't harming the water. So far, things are pretty comparable year to year. There's lots of ups and downs. For example, our fish are, are down a little bit this year, probably because of the really high flows you've had over the summer. You've had some big rains, you had a big snow melt, and so that tends to wash some fish out once in a while. But there's nothing to be concerned about. Every year since 2008 with the South Dakota Science and Technology Authority, the consultants have indicated there's no contamination from the discharge downstream. We test our water continuously at the water treatment plant before discharge, but we also test it on a weekly and a monthly basis. And unlike the algae or the bugs, the fish aren't brought back to a lab for testing. We weigh them and measure them, count them up here, and wave goodbye and let them back into the river. In lead, just a big minnow. Kaylee Schmidt, Coda Territory News. The water treatment plant pumps out nearly 700 million gallons a year, which may seem like a lot, but again, the impact is minimal based on all the testing they do. All of the data is collected and sent to the state as part of their permit.